Hey guys, how's it going? This is Patrick with Stacking Layers. Today I'm doing a video showing off a little experiment that I've been playing around with. Um, I have a problem. Um, basically, I I am in an area where I just can't get filaments and you know all the new f cool fancy things um, easily in my area. I can get them. I can get them shipped, but I'm uh, I'm not in the United States, so pretty much getting all the fun fancy new stuff is is very expensive for me. Um, as an example, I'm sure you guys have noticed that there's been a lot of talk about these new dual color filaments, quantum filaments, I think, by Matter Hacker. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been trying to get sourcing that or trying to find a place to get it, but there's nothing in my area. And if I do get it from them, I have to pay something like two or three times the amount in shipping and import fees and all that junk. So, you know, paying over $100 for a, <laughs> a roll of filament is not good. So what I did was hopped into Fusion 360 and uh, basically just drew out a little spiral. Pretty simple because there's a spiral option. You just draw a spiral and then set the dimensions and you're done. <laughs> and so I did. I made a spiral with the dimensions of my filament. Um, I, I think I did a, a 1.8 or 1.7 something. But this is pretty much dimensional to the 175, 1.8 uh, standard filament size. And uh, yeah, so I did the spiral, made a tube, made it so it's circular to the right diameter and put it on the print bed. Um, I slice this in Prusa Slicer because it's got, got an easy thing when you're looking at the layers, you can go up halfway through the layers and then just click it and do a filament change command. So that's what I did. Did a filament change, made my own dual color quantum filament. <laughs> yeah, not, not my trademark, obviously. No, but anyway, so I made a dual filament thing because I couldn't find it and I thought, why not try? And I thought I was really genius about that. And then I went to go post it on Thingiverse and found out, nope, it's been done. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's there's there's lots of files out there. I'll, I'll put a link to the first one that I found. Um, I tried it and it works just as good as what I did. So I'm not even going to post mine on Thingiverse. I'll just link to the other one that's already there. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is what it looks like. I did a white and a copper. This was the copper silk that I uh, did a video on not too long ago. And then just a standard white PLA. Um, both by the same brand. I would probably recommend if you're going to make your own, try to get the filaments that are the same brand or the same, you know, basically the same type of print um, requirements. So the same temperature and stuff like that. Because if you lose two, if you use two very different filaments, that can probably cause problems with extru extrusion. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but this worked pretty well. And here's the result. So this was my first test. This is standard uh, spiral vase um, print. So as you can see, here's the copper. And then as it goes around, it transitions to the white. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, it, it works surprisingly well. And you can see the bottom, so a slight transition on there, but not, not much when it's on a flat surface. Um, but basically what goes on is that because it's split down the center and the uh, nozzle doesn't technically mix, it's kind of like a laminar flow through the, through the system, that it just continuously goes all the way through to your to the print and so as you're printing in one direction as you can see here the gold or the copper side will print on that line and as you move up this way it'll be halfway through and then you move th th that direction it'll be all white on that side and let's see the copper will lay down and then if it's going this way the copper or sorry copper on the top if it goes that way white on the top if it goes that way and then in between if it goes this or that way and then everything in between. So that's how you get that nice little transition. So pretty neat thing. Um, if you can't find the filament or if you just want to experiment with your own colors, I mean, not all colors are available. So you can start mixing your own stuff. You know, I'm thinking maybe try a, a glow in the dark and black and see what happens or, you know, just really weird kind of unconventional color combinations just to see what would happen. So it's a great way to experiment and do your own color combos because it works pretty well. One thing I do want to point out though, Here's another little model I made um, in Nomad Sculpt. If you guys haven't heard of that app, I recommend it. I'll put a link down below. It's no, no sponsor or anything for this, but uh, a miraculous app. It's, it's, a, it's a sculpting, like a clay sculpting app, but it's very dynamic and you can export to STL. Um, it's, it's for um, Android and Apple. Um, so it works on, on both. Uh, I think the Apple one is only paid and the Android one has a, a free version that's a little bit limited, but it works great out of the box. And then the paid version, I feel is worth it. But, you know, just because of how dynamic that app was. But anyways, enough of that. So this is what I made. Just a little archway to see if I can make some, like, figure styles. Little miniature, 
diorama things i don't know just messing around uh, following a tutorial on how to learn the how to yeah use the app so this is a solid non-spiral style print i want to see what that work looks like so you can see there's a little bit weird things going on here now i don't know if this is something that's normal with the standard film or if it's just because i did a do a diy version but as you can see there's like kind of banding in the colors where the colors are shifted so basically what happens is that as it's coming through it it flips the there that's not always happening but the filament can flip around and if it does that then obviously the colors are going to flip so it could just be because of the fact that it's printed on the bed as a spiral so it already has like this natural spring to it and as it's rolling down it it kind of does as you can see right there it, even just holding it it'll it'll create these little flips and if it's a strong enough tension on there it'll slowly flip in in the uh, extruder and which relates to a flip in the color so that's why you see there's like some banding here going on because that actually did flip around and luckily it came right back but i tried a bigger version which yeah wow i lost that one but a bigger version of this to see if that would be any benefit or change i also changed orientation slightly and that one flipped halfway through completely so it was literally like white up to here and then copper all the way up to here so i mean it was a dramatic like a complete 180 on the model um so not a desirable effect but anyways that's one thing to keep in mind that you can get flipped so it is a trial and error thing but i mean as you can see with the vase here it worked beautifully um so yeah what do you guys think something nifty to try out would you guys uh be interested in in seeing more colors on that um i do have a twitter i i don't know if i have it in my video anywhere but i'll post it in this uh, video here in the comment or in the link section um or just description and uh i do post experiments that i'm messing with um as a matter of fact i just did a, a micro benchy i swapped out my nozzle now and i have a one a 0 0.15 millimeter nozzle is ridiculously small it's like it looks like it's extruding hair um so i did a micro benchy it was like a a 20 percent or 25 percent size of the standard benchy i mean it's, it's tiny I, actually you know what here sneak preview if you don't want to go to my twitter i have it here somewhere in my pocket if i can find it and there it is <laughs> micro benchy and i actually did one a little bit smaller but it didn't turn out great look at that look at this thing i don't even know if you could tell but as you can see it's it's messed up so this is because of temperature problems but that's not what this video is about my guess kind of is it's about experimenting but micro benchies <laughs> so yeah that's something i just posted i don't know if i'm going to do a video on it let me know if you want to see a video on that i can i can show that too um i might just because i have another thing printing right now i have like a little miniature mini figure seeing how those print so this can be an, another video if you guys think let me know if you want to see something about that but anyways yeah follow my twitter if you want to see some just random posts of things that i'm printing and making and stuff sometimes i just i'm not going to make a video i'm just going to post a a quick little thing on twitter and that'll be it for that unless you guys say hey i want to see the video and you know spark some some ideas for me anyways thank you for watching again like i said give me uh, a follow on twitter if you're interested in this stuff uh let me know down in the in the comments what you think about this if you're going to try it out if you have any questions on how to set it up if you have if you've tried it and having problems i can help you out as best as i can um and until next time thank you for watching